Yeah, sure. I mean, like a lot of things at Golf Pride, when we develop products, we will go to the tour just to get some insight from those players. You know, kind of the small things on what they're doing, and that's the kind of stuff that can turn into really cool products. And that's really where the reduced taper profile idea came from, um, because what we were noticing is what we send to the PGA Tour strictly are standard size grips. I mean, there's a few guys out there that might play a mid-size model, like a true mid-size model where it says mid-size on the end cap, but 99% of what we send the PGA Tour are standard size grips. Um, but what we were noticing with the players is once they get those grips, the technicians in the vans were building up um, basically the lower hand to a specific geometry profile. And when we asked the players why they you know, wanted their grips built up to, in the lower hand specifically, they were telling us um, you know, it helps them reduce kind of grip tension when they were holding the club um, and really kind of you know, work to increase speed kind of covering the shots, getting through the shots. Um, so what they ended up with was this hybrid of grips that's uh, it's not a standard, it's not a midsize, it's something that's in between. And it's a specific uh, taping, stepping profile that the players were looking for. Um, and it, it's really, you know, um, you know, individual from player to player. Um, you know, and we actually got all the data and stacked it up on a spreadsheet. But, you know, these guys are taking a, a golf pride grip, mostly 580 um, core, and, you know, installing them on 600 butt diameter shafts. Uh, and that automatically is going to bump it up a little bit right there. But they were taking some tape and stepping the tape to give it some extra, um, uh, you know, girth in the lower hand. Um, so, you know, like I said, when the players would hit shots with those clubs with the grips installed on them, it would allow them to relax their hands a little bit and generate a little bit more speed through impact. Um, so, you know, that was what gave birth to the Plus 4 technology. And really the Plus 4 technology started in the CP2 line. You know, even though we didn't say that it that was specifically plus four, all of the CP2 models have a reduced uh, lower hand profile on them. So it comes out of the mold already built up, um, so you don't have to add any extra tape. But all of this stuff really was born from insight from what the tour players are doing and then rolled into retail products for consumers. It, you know, Josh, I mean, really, it's any type of player. Um, you know, it's not specific to a category of player, you know, a better player or a pro. Um, it's really anybody that's looking to reduce tension um, when they put their hands on a club. And that's really important uh, because, I mean, classic golf grips and, and the majority of the stuff that we make now um, still has a classic taper profile to it. And there's a spot, you know, you know in the bag for that. Uh, but, you know, really the idea is, you know, players that are looking to get their hands on there with lighter grip pressure. And any type of technology c that can allow the player to do that is going to be a benefit. Um, so that's what that's doing. And, and the other thing about this, the player that's going to benefit is the type of player that when you buy these grips, um, in, in back in the day you would go in there and be like, listen, I got a standard size grip, uh, but let's put, you know, four or six wraps of tape underneath it. And, you know, the technician that's, you know, installing the grips would do that. Uh, but what happens when you do that is you're artificially, you know, creating this size. And when you create that size, you're stretching the material, uh, that rubber material that's on there. And think about it like a rubber band. When you stretch a rubber band, it gets really taut and very firm. And you're doing the same thing to the rubber. So even though you were ending up with the, the, the larger lower hand or a, a grip that's in between a standard and mid-size, the specific profile that you're looking for, you were also stretching that material and making the grip a lot firmer than it was meant to be. And that's the beauty of the Plus 4 technology or the CP2, um, is it comes out of the mold already built up to that specific size. So it's kind of this in-between size between a standard and a mid-size. But really any player that would, would benefit from that, somebody that's looking to you know, you know, find a way to reduce tension, not just when they start the swing, but throughout the swing. Because a lot of players, you know, they jump at the ball or they, you know, they, they, get a, they snatch it on the way back. Um, and if you can get your hands in there lightly from the beginning and maintain that light grip pressure throughout, it's really going to free up the swing and allow you to, you know, really get some pop at impact. Mm -hmm.